shopping for a new hardwood dealer just to have options, and I met my new friend, Glenn, from <laughs> GPS Hardwoods in Kernersville. Hello. So, Glenn, you have a lot of wood here, and it's really good looking. Yeah, most of the domestic wood, we start with logs. So we, you know, I go up to the mountains, get them, bring them over to a friend. He cuts it all for me. We air dry it for anywhere from a month, could be up to six months, seven wow. months, depending on the thickness and the species. Then it goes into um, one of my two kilns. This black monster here is a vacuum kiln. It all slides in and s slides out with a carriage. And approximately 85% of the air has been pumped out of that chamber. So it has less pressure on the wood, which makes it easier for the moisture to work out. And it also kills all the bugs, gets rid of all the rot. Right, right. Awesome. we get it up to 165 degrees. And in that chamber, you can actually boil water at 160 degrees. It's such a thin air, it's like you're uh, drying wood at about 30,000 feet elevation. And then our other kiln is a uh, dehumidification kiln by Nile, which is you know, less technical, but it works for most of the other species. Awesome. Okay. And then this is our little CNC over here. Uh, this little computer aided unit. Then we got the Milwaukee. It's got a two inch bit in it uh, with a, a vacuum system. And basically it just makes, uh, we make it have one and a half inch passes running the length. And it takes off a sixteenth at a time. After it does a complete pass of the whole thing, it'll go back to the beginning, drop a sixteenth of an inch and do it all over again. That's awesome. Let's look at some wood. We have our short section over here on the left, which is good for doing your cutting boards and charcuterie boards. We have walnut in different thicknesses, hard and soft maple, cherry. Uh, those are the three that most people use for cutting boards and charcuterie boards. This is our oak section. Your walnut looks really good, by the way. Oh, thank you. We take a lot of pride in that. This is what everybody else in the industry sells. And we buy this already done. This is steamed walnut, which steamed. they will not tell you that. But everybody else sells this stuff. What it is, is there is more sapwood in here. And by steaming it, they are trying to blend the dark wood mm. into the light wood. And then you see they, it does give you a kind of a uniform consistency. So that if you bought it in, in Florida or you bought it in New York or California, it's going to look pretty similar because of the steaming process. Mm. But if there's sapwood here, you're going to notice the difference where on the other stuff you really won't. But it's usually minimal like that. Right. And then you go down here, this next one. I think this is just going to be all dark heartwood. Oh, that's and nice. So this is my, what we call prime. Um, this is our Peruvian walnut. So this mm. is an import that we buy. It'll give you the darkest color, and it's quite nice. And you'll see our boards are really clean. That's that something is. we put a lot of effort into. Quality. You care about the quality. Yes, sir. That's, yeah. that's important yeah, to me. In our cherry, we go to Pennsylvania and Western Virginia, and we buy our own logs. We, this is tiger maple. and. If you can see, if you get the right angle on it, or if we put moisture, it's got stripes all across it. Yeah, I can see it. I don't know if the camera can get it, but it's that is incredible. This is called Bordesan Sycamore. So this is sycamore, and here, the way we cut it, the grain is coming straight up at you. Normally the grain in wood is gonna go from side to side. Right. This comes straight up at you, and you're gonna get that really nice appearance there. And then this is what we call spalting. Um, which is desirable. It's actually a little bit of a, considered a rot in the wood, but at the early stages, it's quite nice. You, you got some got good purple, purple heart. heart. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got purple heart, which is from uh, Brazil. This almost yeah. looks like some curly purple heart. Some what? of it is. Is this um, leopard wood? That's leopard wood, and this is all blood wood here. Oh yeah. Blood wood. blood wood is a stainy wood. And people don't realize it. Who come in a lot of times, they say, well, is this wood hard? And I say, like, any exotic is going to be pretty much harder than our domestics. And now we have a whole bunch of amazing slabs. Maple, maple, sycamore, cherry. Look at this, Patagonian rosewood. Are you joking? This one's my, one of my favorites with that pattern grain on it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to buy one of those. 100% leaving with one today. Canary wood Canary slab. Wood, piece of cedar. But that's red oak right there, right? That's a big piece of red oak. Yeah, that came out of the West Virginia mountains. That thing is probably 15 feet tall. And a bunch of black walnut. Right. If you'd like to know more, you can visit them at gpshardwoods.com.